Hey YouTubers, it's Al Fu of Battles All Metal Detecting. This video is being sponsored by Miller MDs. It's www.millermdz.net. Go ahead and give Tom Miller a shout. He's a metal detector dealer out of Pennsylvania. Really great guy. Easy to work with. Probably the only guy I know who actually has a finance plan available when buying a new machine. Go ahead, check out his website, email him, give him a call. Tell him Al Fu sent you. You never know, you just might get something special. Okay guys, I hope this comes out. It's 12.15 right now on my uh, phone. 12.16. And uh, we're starting the hunt, so... We're on our way. Okay, about three seconds into the challenge, we look like 1964 copper penny. That's the way to start things off. All right, hold on. All right, guys, the next five, 1985 clay and quarter. All right, I'm not cherry picking. Uh, just that's the signal that came up. We're gonna see what else happens. Hold on. Ah, next find, the evil one, Mr. Tab. Hold on. All right, here's the uh, plug that the next find came out of. Nice indentation right there. It's a zinker. <laughs> All right, that was like two, not even a foot away from the last pull tab there. So this place is loaded. Hold on. Yet another infamous one. All right, moving right along. I set my alarm too on my uh, my phone, so once that goes off, uh, that'll be that. Hold on. Can you say, bud? Okay, looks like we got a sinker here. It's always special. Uh, I'm gonna start skipping some of this stuff and uh, see if I can find something really cool. So, uh, hold on. Well guys, Deep Digger Jake. Need I say more? Oh my God. Oh no, he's finding stuff like crazy. Did you hear that folks? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at this. He got two things in about three seconds. No detector required. Oh my God. Wait till you guys see better pictures of this stuff. He, it's amazing. This kid has got the look like I've never seen before. All right. Oh man. Now he's killing me. Hold on. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Look at this. Clad quarter. Yay! What year we got there, there, Deep Digger Jake? Uh, we have got. Oh, wait. 1998. Show a picture of that. 1998 quarter. Alright, let's continue on. All right, now Fu got something a little bit different than just regular clad today. Look at this. Looks like part of a keychain fob, maybe? BK on it. Maybe a Burger King, who knows? All right, I'll take it. That's the yellow part that came with it. I think it was like this originally, with this on top. Something like that. All right, but I actually like it like this better. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we can get. We're in the baseball field right now. I guess they're redoing the whole baseball field, so I might as well hit the outfield while we're here. All right? All right, hold on. That was about three seconds since the uh, last find. And uh, got a dime in the hole, Buy a dime. Hold on. Hey there YouTubers, this is, this is Jake, and we found a quarter today, inside of a club, plug, sorry, and yeah, Let's see if we can get a date for that during the wrap up. Alright, another non-coin find, I don't know what this is, got a square hole in the middle, square and a square, and a rectangle. Huh. All right, we'll clean it up and get a good shot at it with the roundup. Hold on. Uh. Next finds a button. It's got some writing on there. I don't know if uh, the camera's gonna pick it up or not. We'll get it cleaned up and uh, see what it says in the roundup. All right, yay! 
having a better day today. That's my alarm, guys. 12:36, and just before it went off, we did make one more score. Glad dime happened at the almost the exact minute the alarm was going off. I think we got the dime a second first. All right, that's it for my challenge. I'll do a roundup at the end. All right, YouTubers, this is Alfu. I'm back at the house. This is the roundup for the 30-minute uh, backyard challenge. Unfortunately, I couldn't dig in my own backyard without getting my detector smashed. So I went to a uh, local school that I hit a few times. And, uh, well, this is the trash I got. Several Mr. Tabs. Piece of junk metal. Nothing special there. Budweiser cap. Huh, if it wasn't all dented, it would be pretty cool. Uh, this is just a, I don't know, it looks like a part of a cap or something. I have no idea what it is. Be junk metal now. And, uh, see, so yeah, I got four quarters, uh, six dimes, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven pennies. So, dollar seventy-one. Not too shabby. Uh, this is one of Jake's finds right here. It's, uh, looks like part of a keychain, maybe. And uh, then I got this funky thing. I don't really know what this is. It's a piece of metal. I like the squares in it though. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this button. Yeah. Nothing special with it, but it's something. And then this here find. Oops. The sear part went on it. It says BK. I guess it went on this here right here. Not sure, it might have went on this side as well. I'm not really sure. But they were both in the hole together, so I would imagine they go together. They uh, both say BK. Alright. I'm dreading it. But in a few seconds, I'll, uh, I'll show you Jake's surface finds and... Uh, he did it again. Hold on, guys, all right? All right, guys, back real quick. Uh, these are Jake's surface finds. Unbelievable. He actually found this, like I said. And the uh, first thing he found was this here jewel, purple. Looks like it, came, it looks like it's part of an earring, maybe. Fake, obviously, but still. It's pretty cool looking. Damn kid. And then uh, he had this bracelet. I just, I can't believe it. He doesn't need a detector. He just looks on the ground and stuff jumps right out at him. Crazy. I think uh, we did pretty good today. Uh, like I said, though, this school uh, naturally produces. It's, uh, I haven't been there since last summer, so it was a lot more depositors, obviously. Uh, yeah, it was fun. All right. Happy hunting, everybody. Peace out.